Hold on. Hold on one second. Finishing things sucks. Oh, when I come up with a idea of any kind, the first two thirds of the process is awesome. I'm sketching, I'm writing things down, I'm looking stuff up, I'm learning new things. There are moments when I'm doing all of this where I think it's not gonna look like this. It's not gonna look exactly how I want, but I don't care because I'm in the creative process. I'm just coming up with ideas and coming up with ideas and sometimes scoping some stuff out. But then that two thirds hits. You actually have to do it. That part is hard. <laughs> That's why it sucks. The slog of just like doing repetitive work. And, but now you're looking at the product and you're thinking it's definitely not going to be what I wanted. That's frustrating. And sometimes just the thought of getting to that point keeps me from doing that two thirds process. There are about 7,000 reasons to stop a project. Some of them are valid, but some of them are just stupid. Nobody's gonna like this. This isn't relevant. If you do a bunch of work at some point in time, you're gonna try and rationalize it away because then you don't have to finish the work. You don't have to go through the slog of actually finishing this thing and then releasing it and finding out nobody likes it because that's terrifying. After having done this for on and off two years now, that the only thing that you can do is follow your own compass. But I guess the message of this video is that just, you know, like do the damn thing. Just do the damn thing and you know, people will like it or they won't, it doesn't really matter. You're not doing it for them. You're doing it for you. And if it falls on his face, who cares? If it's horrible, who cares? You did it. And the slog is worth it in the end because you made a thing. It, nothing else matters. You made a thing and that's pretty awesome. It's got really uplifting at the end, didn't it?